Lots of really cool colors. I'm honored to be here sitting with one of my childhood heroes, Carl Banks of the New York Giants, legendary linebacker, and we're talking about this cool line of apparel, sports themed apparel you have with the G3. Tell me about the transition from athlete to fashion designer, how that came about. Well, it was, it was interesting. I've always had, uh, pardon the pun, a passion for fashion. I live the lifestyle when I'm not wearing a suit. I throw on my favorite pair of sweatpants or my favorite hoodie to really create fashion in sports. I'm not on field. I'm not performance. I'm a casual lifestyle. I'm fashion. So it can be the hardcore fan or the casual fan. You're going to find something in the collection that really works for you. As a result of that, there was a call for ladies apparel, not just the pink and light blue. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we wanted to do something very comprehensive that was on trend with fabrics and silhouettes. We created the For Her collection by Carl Banks. It's obviously a stereotype, but women tend to be a little bit more fashion conscious than men. But at the same time, I know my wife is a perfect example, hates the notion that, oh, I'm going to buy a sports themed t shirt or sweatpants and they make it pink for women, and that's all they do. Which well, is just... it, it is so, I think it's so insulting to believe that the female fan is reduced to wearing her husband's or her boyfriend's jersey or jacket or t shirt and thinking the only thing that would appeal to her is something in light blue or pink. Right. When I started to hear the female shopper call into the show and say, is it possible for you guys to create a line that is as comprehensive for ladies as it is for men? I love buying your stuff, uh, but I have to buy a men's size medium or a men's size small. But if you could somehow create a collection that is compatible with what you're doing on the men's side of the business, it would be great. I wanted to have all of the, the, the right accessories and and the um, decorations that went on it not just hardcore glitter you know this woman loves slub fabric they love tri-blend t-shirts something comfy if they raise their hand nothing's popping out that they don't want to pop out that the garment moves the way they move and the sizing is appropriate all the things that if they were wearing uh, a fashion brand it would be what they expected to have mm -hmm. fill that Oh, wow, yeah. Do you have people coming to you looking for advice on how to really navigate a successful career after retiring from professional sports? Um, I do. I spend a little time uh, with some current players and some ex-players, and, you know, I just talk about guys being proactive and opportunistic. Um, I got a degree in broadcasting, so I'm on the Giants play-by-play -play team on the radio, and I do a show on Sirius Satellite Radio but it's about not being a social misfit. Two people taught me uh, how to really be proactive in social settings. That was Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas, both guys who knew how to take a conversation beyond last week's game. I tell guys, it's not necessarily about closing the deal the day you meet a guy. It's not necessarily about trying to earn a fast buck. You got a real job, you got a day job. So start to learn about people's businesses and find a common interest. And if you can do that, um, when you leave this game, you won't have a desire to go back. The day I left football, um, opening day of that next season, I sat on my couch and ate pizza <laughs> and never wanted to see, never wished I could be back out there. Your coaches I, yeah. wouldn't have been happy about that back no, in the day. I mean, but yeah. it, is, it is one of those deals where people ask me, did you, do you still miss the game? I'm like... No, not really. I, I enjoy it. I'm actually close enough to it because of, of my uh, broadcasting career, but I don't stand there and wish I was playing again. I, I have a lot of fulfillment in business.